Okay, hi everyone. So this week uh, I've been working on uh, rewriting the Elasticsearch um, tool that I've done uh, to work as an SGI feature, and I got it mostly working. I have a couple of uh, corners to fix, but it's it's mostly working. I'm going to show you how it's used. And also, I've improved uh, the, um, my Drews rules for detecting missing events, so now you can use it also with the passive status keeper. I've written a very a fairly long page on the wiki, so it's mostly there. I have the same integration working on uh, in production for like a month, so it should be usable if you find like quirks or stuff that doesn't work, just ping me. But anyway, um, getting back to the most interesting thing, the last research integration. So um, I've updated the wiki page, I've added a couple of pointers. So this is the tree where the feature lives now. And also I've, I've added a Trello board for tracking the progress on, the on this thing. So there you see the things that needs to be done and the, and the ones that I'm working on. Um, so there are a couple of things that I still have to to improve, but it's mostly working. So I'm going to show you how it's used. Um, basically, um, right now you just start OpenMS and then you do a features install OpenMS Elasticsearch event forwarder. That will pull in the uh, camel context, which is basically exactly the same as the one that's on that was on the previous tool and it will do also the same things because it will also <coughs> automatically update the Elasticsearch uh, index template so that uh, integer values are correctly parsed as integer value and stuff like that um, and it will do that every time uh, the, the, feature is, the feature is started so um, uh, you, you can always be sure that the events are correctly indexed into Elasticsearch when you start the, ch the, the feature you can tail its progress here or you can use Kibana and see that events are actually coming in. So um, I still have a couple of um, attributes I have to figure out correctly on the events but you, you see that they are coming in and also one thing that I have to do I have to filter out this annoying uh, internal events like OpenMS user RTC has logged in which are not like interesting at all I think. Um, so the, the thing that I'm, work, uh, that I'm going for is I will just drop all events that are not going to be too persisted to the database if everyone agrees on that. Um, so once you have the events in, this is, uh, uh, this is actually blank, I don't have much stuff going because I only got the work yesterday evening because there was like a, a weird class load issue on, on, uh, on uh, well actually it was a feature, a wrong feature on the camera last week so, so I had to work around that with Jesse's helps and uh, well mm, when you have it working you get the graphs here and that's actually uh, that's that's about it I mean the feature the, the stuff you can do you already see in the demo that I made on Monday so um, then you can actually have like very powerful features and like querying and uh, filtering dynamically you mind showing a few of those since we're Oh yeah, sure. Um, so, oh, this is not the right one. Let's let me back to. Uh, I have to go back to last year <laughs> because I don't have like fresh data for that. Okay. Okay. So. I'm going to turn off all because it's just pointless. Uh, okay, so this is actual data from um, a customer we have an installation, and uh, basically the events are pulled in via the Camel Exchange, reading straight from the database. But the SGI feature will have actually the same capabilities, so there's no actual difference between them. So. Um, I'm going to turn off refresh because it's five seconds too fast. Um, also because we are looking at stuff that's one month old, so it's not going to refresh. <laughs> anyway, um, so basically I've divided the interface, and you can uh, create your own dashboards. You know, you don't have to use this. You can do like uh, uh, whatever dashboard you want. It's uh, that's the, the powerful that's the power of Kibana. And um, 
So you have like, this is the histogram of events that are coming into the system divided by um, severity. So you have the severities, the legend of severities on top, and then you have the, uh, the actual values on the histogram. Um, and then you have like uh, bars showing the, um, uh, the severities, the count of for severities, nodes, here there's a problem because I've changed the dashboard on the fly to make it work with a newer collection. Uh, and here you would have a list of services. So the number of events are broken down by service. So SNMP has like a thousand events and then HTTP has uh, two thousand events. And by clicking on the service here you could uh, filter all the dashboard. So whenever you click on a component here you apply the same filter to all the dashboard. So you see the, the data changes immediately and you can then restore the filter or just disable it for um, remove the filter or disable it. Here I have the, the events are broken down by hour so you can actually see during the day uh, how, they, how they, they, they change and the days of week so like say Monday, Tuesday and you can see how, what is the, the noises day, during the day. And then this is um, like the tail view of the events. Not all the events that are seen that, that you see in in the counters here, but just like the top 500. And you can click on an event and get all the data with all the messages that were actually pulled in. So you got very fairly detailed um, view. One thing that is also possible is here on the table you can click on the lens and then filter all the events that contain the same uh, the same text like if I wanted to filter by uh, the all the events for the categories of service and production I could just click here and this will create a filter so automatically the dashboard will change and show me only the data that applies to servers that are in the service and production um, categories uh, one thing that I think it's also possible I didn't do yet is you can create links from inside the, the dashboard so you can create links and you know and go back and forth between the the OpenMS UI and, and, and Kibana. Yep, that's it.